所以就百蚊係要減。高保嘅啲。Even I thought he know that he know that I was the one who vandalized his house, but he should know that I have already been punished. But he still criticized me. Can I start now? Okay. On seventh January two thousand eight, at about one p.m., I was busy working. That I received a total of 52 SMSs from my Chinese national neighbor who stay at 274C Jurong West Street 25 8-31 bearing handphone number 9760-2240 His name is Henry Chen Most of the messages are about ready flight Mrs. Huang Shan Shan, you better stop at Hong Kong now I feel so sad for a mom thought so much in the end had a crazy girl like you come out to this world So sad I feel so sad for a mum. Why should give birth to a mental child like you? Poor thing. Collect from a mum is wrong. So poor thing, someone don't have a job. No money to collect. Meanwhile, during the incident happened, then I reported police. Then police they told me that that's not her. What do you do it again? Okay. Huh? What do you do it again? No. Okay. No. In, in the first place, I all the while I never I never reply her. She keep on everything. No, no. What she's saying is that you've been sending her all this mm -hmm. about about it. Oh, SMS. So the thing is, she started to, to scold my family. But no, but what do you do it again? Oh, what do you do? So if so, 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 I come again, I will go straight to the police. So it's that. Will you do it again? No, no. I, I won't. Yeah. You won't do it again. Hey, listen to me first, Sam. First, first, I don't know, I don't know <laughs> what's the number. Did you ask the number? Uh, he's still up. During the incident happened, Henry Tang SMS me that he was outside my unit. As I was not at home, I called for the police to refer the matter. Police report number is J-2008-0107-193. I want to say that this is the second time incident happened. The last one was on 16 December 2007. He SMSed me and telling me not to, not to contact him anymore. I talked to him nicely, but he talked to me like shit. I even, I even uh, received two emails from him. The first email was, Hey, you Shan Shan, you better stop all the crap. All the stories you make up to tell me are all bullshit. My house being vandalism is you the one who did it. From now on, please stay away from my family. Stop calling me on my mobile and talk rubbish. If not, I will report police and make sure you go in jail one more time. I don't want to do anything with you. Understand, Andy Wong? The second email is, Oh, Andy Wong, I'm 20 years old only. I also a small kid. Swear your head. I will never believe a liar anymore. So say it and go back to your Hong Kong now. The remarks made are inflammatory and racist. You hear what they said? They won't do it again. He did it, but he says he was in response to your audit thing, but whatever it is, he won't do it again. Isn't that good enough? Think about it, right? Okay? But the problem is... He won't do it again. But the he So the newspaper reports are useful after all. Mm -hmm. At least they know they know what's happening. They won't do it again. But his remarks are very racist and inflammatory. Oh, they're not racist. They're not racist. He just thinks you should go home to be with your parents. Then what does he do? He just thinks yourself. You mm -hmm. need your parents to be around you. Mm -hmm. It doesn't mean anything. So, so, uh, Actually, what, what do you mean by telling her to go back to Hong Kong? Go back there. The more people take care of her. Take care of her at all. People don't mean anything. I said the same thing to you. I said go back to Hong Kong where you can see your parents or let like, your mother at this country and your father can't come. You need more. Okay. He can say this like this way, but behind is not. No, no. Not necessarily. Uh, anyway, you don't know what's behind, right? You don't know what's going on in his head. Now he's telling me it's like that. 
But the messages are very vulgarities. He knows it also. He's saying he won't do it again. And anyway, you change your handphone already. You won't know how to get you anyway. You see the point? I received three and it didn't start off handphone number, but I recorded it down. And I told it to the police also. Then it's over again. Yeah. And then it can be over if you want it to be over. So in the same vein, I'm telling you, I give you a, a bit two weeks down the road. You think about it. Okay? My advice is drop it. Okay? I won't drop it. I will mind, press the charges. I am telling you, think about it. Alright? Hmm. I, I give a bit to it. Right? To it stay. To be something to do about this. Right? Mm, this is what we're I'm also keep working there. I keep on singing this out about this thing. Yeah. I go to you, you could very well for counter uh, complain. Uh. I go, go to the police. police say, uh, we can't do anything. The most I can call and tell, talk to her that not to disturb that part. After that, uh, I went back to, to my house. Then very fast the police came. That's two sides to the story. Okay? And that? Maybe we can use this way outside and then we will give you another day to push it to come back. And then hopefully she will just drop it. I want to give her time to think about it. If she wants to press off a bit, I don't think that much. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. I'll ask her to do it.
By I will want to present like this way. Two months. This way you can carry on for three more years. You probably will drop out of poly. You probably really will have to go home to Hong Kong. Whereas this other way, you get cured, no more problems, put this behind you, graduate from poly, get to work in Singapore. Of course I work in Singapore and sue people. La. I will sue the judge. Somebody need me. I told you already, immunity, you can't. You understand? I understand your sadness. But doing it this way is not the right way. And what is this about? What is this? Sting you money? They did. They did cake. Hmm? Okay, okay. Five years. Hi. We're waiting here. It's all right. How are you? Okay. Okay, so what is it about? Uh -huh. Okay, let me start up. I want to state that I will register as the client on 26 May 2006. Yeah. The reason? Um, to yes, she's in okay. to, The reason to seek the help in writing a letter to the judge on my behalf. Mm. One of them, whose name is Shina Jabal, called me up and asked me to bring all my documents to show her employee, Sarala Davy S. I took my, all, all my documents, like my letter, to the judge, Prime Minister Lee Sien Long, MPME called police letters, CMC letters, and my conversation with my sister when I met Sarah who took me her Yishun flat. Then, in the meanwhile, Shina Japan and her employee created problems to me by filing a false police complaint against me of using vulgarities as Sarah La. and even I created a big issue when they came to my school and said that I was very good one of, to one of them. I explained to my school discipline mistress that I did not use vulgarities. I only said thanks for returning all my documents when I was ready to leave the office. But I don't see the reason why Shina Jabba and her employee Sarah Lam accused me of using vulgarities. Meanwhile, the school, we were told by the uh, ministry and the school that we are not supposed to contact one another anymore. However, from mid-September to early November 2006, New Life had been calling me up for the past three months, but I did not return their calls because we, are, we were told not to contact one another. Meanwhile, my sister also complained to Shina's workplace, Bishan Park Secondary School. So my sister received an email from New Life. Dear Miss Miss Sha Wong, we are writing with you guys to an email sent to Bishan Park Secondary School, dated on the 6th November 2006. You have written in to complain against Miss Shina Jabal, the director of New Life and a full-time school counselor at Bishan Park Secondary School. Due to Miss Wong Shan Shan persistence of wanting a case file materials, New Life is looking into the possibilities of handing over the case file to her. However, she must license with Miss Sawala to collect her case file. Please note that New Life office has shifted and operation hours have changed. Miss Wong Shan Shan may contact Miss Sawala on 9048-7699. Because my sister put herself in my shoes, so my sister replied, replied the email and said, I was t just told by Shan Shan that she remembered the statement which she signed did not indicate that the new life care and counseling services has the right to photocopy what she lets you read her letters. Second point, if you are writing with you guys, would you and Shina Jabal deny what the two of you have done to my Shan Shan when she walked to Bijan Park Secondary School and NCSS? The third point, if you are writing with you guys, would you and Shina Jabal threaten my Shan Shan behind the police, NCSS, B 
Yishan Park Secondary School and her former school, Yuhua Secondary. Four points. If you are writing with regards, would you cheat my Shanshan's money such as you sold the six CD to her without the proper receipt? Six points. If you are writing with regards, would you show your anger when I call you up in late June 2006? Last point. You say to the police and her former school that she used vulgarities at you after you quarreled with her, but you couldn't explain what words she used at you when she replied your SMSs. In my conclusion, you were trying to accuse her because she fought back when you yelled at her. Shan Shan said that she noticed you look embarrassed in front of your students when she talked back. When she said thank you, you accused her and said that she talked about ladies. Even if you had agreed to return back all the material to her, how are you going to assure Shan Shan that you did not photocopy another set of case file material behind? There is always a possibility for you for, to photocopy another set of case file material behind, every, any, behind everyone. In addition, Shan Shan noticed that you used a copy of her NRIC to make a number of police complaints about her. So, since my sister replied the email, so my sister received another email from them. We refer to an email dated 25th November 2006. We would like to cease all the communication with Ms. Wong Shan Shan and yourself. Please advise Ms. Wong Shan Shan to make arrangements to collect her file. As my sister was very angry, so my sister replied the email and said, To New Life Care and Counseling Services Limited, please refer back to the previous email dated 25th November 2006. This is because I'm not Ms. Wong Shan Shan and it has to depend whether or not she wants to contact you. However, for the past two years, I did not contact them until recently we was on 4th January 2008, that means three months ago. But they did not reply my email, so I can say that they must have photocopied another set of my case file materials. If they did not photocopy, they shouldn't be afraid of signing to a piece of agreement with me. Do this uh, that piece of uh, agreement to declare that they did not uh, photo step another uh, photo step another case another set of my case file material. Okay, I'm actually a CEO founder. It's a VWO. It's a voluntary organization. New Life is a VWO. Yes, it's a VWO, and it was set up in 2000. Um, we handle youth related issues, youth, youth at the risk, as well as uh, beyond parental control. We work together with the uh, Singapore Children's Society on DBC cases. And that was the second. I mean, that was the primary job I was doing. But then I'm actually uh, seconded by Ministry of Education yeah. right now. You also have a school in the school. Yeah. I'm working in the psychological branch. Where you are, where? Um, Bishan Park Secondary Bishan School. Park. Right, so it's like, um, okay, perhaps, uh, let us, yeah. let me represent myself as a new life counselor instead of, uh, yeah. because this, this matter was, uh, we handled her as a client with new life. Um, well, um, this is Actually, the... Client as in the, the, how, how do you mean client? Uh, it's like, well, this, uh, She's actually a counseling client. Yes, she has actually, yeah, right. She has engaged our services. She has paid a $30 registration fee, mm -hmm. and she has actually come to, she has came over to our center to have a couple of sessions with us. All the documents which we have actually handled her is actually made placed in chronological order. This was the current email which she have actually sent to my principal just a few days ago because I believe that you have actually summoned me to the court. Yeah, yeah. I don't find any reason why she has to send an email to my principal and uh, let my principal know that I'm someone to the court. Yeah. Okay. Secondly, I got an, uh, a, a write-up of uh, Wong Shan Shan versus the public prosecutor. Yeah. My cousin, uh, he, he's a lawyer, uh, yeah. Mr. John Abraham. Yeah. So he withdrew uh, some information about her and handed over to me. Yeah. All the counseling report, all the police report made against Shan Shan and uh, all the liaison which we have actually done with her, we have actually placed it in that appendix. All the information which you are having is the exact information which I'm having in this file. Mm. The concern of this client is... She's uh, something in your file, right? Yeah? Yes, everything has been photocopied and handed over to you, so we don't need this back. Yeah. Um, 
The complaint of this client is we must return back her file to her. Sir, can I check with you? If you handle a, a, a law, a, a law, if a lawyer handles a client's case and the, and the client discharges the case, will the lawyer be able to hand over all the documents pertaining to the client? We have a running order. We have a, a civil number with a running order. If we hand over her file, there will be a discrepancy. According to the Commissioner of Charities, we cannot afford to actually let go of the running, the, 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 the profiling and the running order. She insists that we return her back all the documents pertaining to her. We liaise with National Council of Social Service and they have actually told us copy Wong Shan Shan a set of all the documents which she have which she have actually handed over to you and hand it over back to her. This yeah. is a copy which I'm returning you back to Wong Shan Shan. Okay. But Wong Shan Shan's file with all the documents, my communication with her elder brother, her elder brother's uh, counseling report, his uh, testification to us to indicate what kind of situation the sister has actually been going through yeah. Uh, has all been indicated in the file right. with yours as a copy and mine is the original. Right. And to top it up, I will, uh, we were actually called by the press yeah. when on the 17th of March uh, yeah. there was a reporter who called us up to ask us to bring this matter, highlight this matter to the press yeah. so that they could actually um, hi highlight this to the public. No, no, this, this was on the 17th of April, uh, March. I choose to decline that because yeah. I believe Wong Shan Shan is a 19 years old girl. Yeah. As far as I'm concerned, I'm not here to uh, jeopardize. and shield Shanghan all along because she was a 17 year old girl but she has actually grown up to be a 19 year old girl mm -hmm. and she must also be, be in, in the in the art in this file there's yeah. also a newspaper article pertaining to she being incarcerated in prison for 33 days for vandalism act with a uh, neighbor and um, and the reason why she came over to our counseling center was because she was having some dispute with her neighbor and the neighbor has accused her wrongfully but true enough just a few months ago it was highlighted that the neighbor had a CCTV outside his house and a lot of information was captured and she was actually caught in the act for vandalism and she was in incarcerated. Basically if she wants this file all the information and she divulgence of uh, her, her action was actually indicated in this file. She wants us to return it back so that we can she does not that she can wipe out all evidence. We are not no, here no, no, no. to. We are not here to. I don't think to this is what it's about. No. I don't think this is what it's about. That's what I'm saying. Handle this sensitively. Mm -hmm. I think you've done this. I'm going to know that you've done this. You know. Then. Um, we want her to prosecute. Mm -hmm. We want her to go ahead because, as a counselor, we cannot bring this matter up because we have to maintain confidentiality. But we have been sustaining our our our. our have you read the judgment? Yes, I did. 
Yeah, I think we did again. Okay. I did, uh, we did read a couple of times to know that we don't want anything to happen to this girl or at the same time we don't want to go ahead but she, she has actually called me to the magistrate, call, to, uh, made a magistrate complaint against us. We are all civil servants. I, if she has actually returned to my principal, it, it banishes my name, it disrepute me. I mean in order to save one, you don't actually affect the other in the process. If she wants to go to the, if she wants to actually prosecute us, or she wants to say that, okay, fine, I want to go ahead and uh, bring this matter into mm -hmm. order, mm -hmm. I don't mind because at least it yeah. gives me a chance to speak what has happened to us. Yeah, I understand. Yeah, I went to the note. I went to the note, I, to the free name. Is she not her name? Is she not her name? Is she not This is the original, that's the copy file. We are holding onto the original and we will not be able to return it back to copy. I don't see it as her call actually. But then again my colleagues seem to think that it's her call. You know? Mm -hmm. Whether she wants to pass on the case or you know. I would rather she didn't uh like me. Rather she didn't. I think you know why or I uh, I agree with you. I think you know why, but you know. I understand I see your point of view, but at the same time I'm concerned that they're doing it this way and you know for her. I care for her. That is why that my counselors were insisting that why are you not bringing this matter to light? I said she's still a girl. She's growing up. She wants to become a police woman. As far as I'm concerned, I read her article of her, her, her the accumulated information. She wants to be a police woman. I think she jeopardized her, her intention, her interest. Because maybe at this point of time, put everything behind and just move on with your move on with your life. If you keep on harping about it, you have your neighbor, you have the reporter, Chinese reporter, the English reporter. All of them are nice with us. Right now, all are congregating together, and that's going to affect her. This is what Ms. Shina just said, was what I was trying to tell you also. Instead of putting the path behind you, you're allowing this thing to perpetuate itself. Or rather, you're perpetuating it. So think about it. Oh, Shasha, tomorrow, pass the person to the sea. Okay. Give it two weeks. Alright? In deference to my colleagues who seem to think I've got nothing to do about it. To, to say about this, uh, I'm, I'm minded to, to tell you, look, stop it, you know, and I'll throw you off. But my colleagues seem, seem to say, you don't do that, you know, you do the thing about it. I, I give out you. I won't let the, I won't let go of the past. You know why? Because I remember when I was registered as a client, they promised me to write a letter to the judge on my behalf, but in the end, all they think...
we had the chronological order here. Mm. On the 25th of May 2006 was the first counseling session with me. Mm. Thereafter, she was taken over by Miss Sarala Devi, a youth worker of New Life. Mm. And she was sustaining with us. Um, On the 4th of July 2006, we discharged her case. But none of this information were actually revealed out. Mm. We, when we say we are going to keep it confidentially, uh, we are going to maintain confidentiality, yeah. we did. We have not highlighted, we have not spoken about this matter to anyone, be it the Ranjit's case, be it, be it, be it, be it she, Nikki, she, together with her classmates making friend calls. Mm. Her classmates have actually become a witness and have made a police report against her the ex-classmates. You know, all of them have moved on. They have missed their IT and they're working. Uh, year 2006 was they graduating here. So probably it's like she's the only one who's holding on to it. She insists that we hand it over to her, which we can't. But our assurance to her is we have not brought this matter up. Wong Shan Shan's case is already closed. Our, our cases has already moved on to 16. Now this is 1507. We have actually gone up to 1600. So how can she, she expect us to take this off? where there is going to be a vacuum which we can't do it. But on her case, it's like when the police officer came to gather information about her, she, she, she wanted to, she had actually made a complaint against the police officer, the public prosecutor, the neighbors, the, the uh, uh, Chinese reporter, English reporter, myself, the CEO of the counseling center, my staff. I think it, it just can't go. Sometimes it just sucks off. It, 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 they accumulate everything together and not everybody would sustain or be as patient as us. So that is the reason I'm telling her. I think she had to put a stop because her elder brother, um, Mr. Her elder brother, Mr. Yeah. Mr. Mr. Oswald, Oswald, yeah. he came over to the center. Yeah. He explained and he he, he he told us that he's a little bit patient with my sister. Yeah. I mean, we, with all due respect to Sunshine as well as the user, we don't want to bring this matter, but it it's too much of haphazard. Yeah. I don't want. Uh, I mean, you can summon me to the court, but working in the civil sector, mm -hmm. it is not going to be easy. I've got so much of cases to handle yeah. in my school. Why must I be shutting myself to and for just because of a summons? I see. Maybe just one last time. Sure, uh, sure, last sir. Time. All the information, the copy which I've given her is all the letters she has actually returned. Mm. But um, we have not given her our counselling report, our letters to the police, uh, our letters to else external agencies which we are liaising in regards to her. Mm. But all the information and documents which she has actually handed over to us mm. pertaining to uh, my file is file is uh, everything. Is to no, or not. Not. Together with our counselling report. Your no file is together with mm. our counselling mm. report.
my party was put a stop to this. Okay. Ping on. I don't think on. You see, if I was sitting here in two weeks time and you came back, I would, I'm going to dismiss it. Give me a second. Another judge, he or she may allow you to carry on. And I think it's going to hurt you. It's really going to hurt you. Carrying on, allowing you to carry on. But the point is, they, have, they are not given the right to follow step of all my things. Of course they yeah. are. They're not being reasonable. I don't see how you can ever be a police woman in Canada, you see. Because you, want, you, are, you are not capable of being objective. You only see it from your own point of view. You only see it from your own point of view. You are incapable of seeing the other person's point of view. You are incapable of adopting a balanced approach. How can you ever be a police woman? I wouldn't be a police woman. I thought you, that's what you thought, uh, told the judge. I wouldn't be a police woman. What do you mean? You changed your mind already? Mm. Between the time you saw the judge and now. The judge was so impressed with what you said about wanting to be a police woman. I want to be a media cop actress. Okay. Well, that's good. That's good. But you will think very hard about what I say. And you will more ask the psychiatrist. What do you think? Should I carry on with that? What do you think? Should I stop it? She's telling this the same thing. She's hoping you carry on. The newspapers will come back and have a few days. That's what she said. The newspapers have been hounding her for information which she's refused to give. But when you go to court, everything will be open. The reporters will be sitting there, vigorously taking notes of everything that's being said by you, about you, against you. You think this you're going to be able to put all these things down? A new set of voice, new set of tears, new, new, new tongue of tears. Huh? So you go out there, you wait. They'll give you a little two weeks time. But I will make a note that if it's left to me, I'll dismiss your complaint. I, I did not promise to dismiss the complaint. No, no, no. I will make a note that indicated that if I was still sitting here in two weeks time, I will dismiss your complaint. But whether or not the other judge will dismiss your complaint is up to them. They probably will let you carry on, which it will be worse for you. Yes, it, it will be worse for you. What, because of me? No, no, it will be worse for you. Oh. I've got a lot of experience, you probably can tell. Okay, as a lawyer and all that, I've seen a lot of this. Okay? I've seen a lot of this. You think it's bad now, you're going to drive you nuts with all of that. When the newspapers pick up on new things and all that. Then you're never going to recover. Now at least you can, you, can, you can get over this. If you walk out here and say, I, I don't want any more of this. End of story. Nothing will happen. You get on with your life. And stop all those images in your head. You the hell with the sex like You carry on with this, a lot more things will come back to haunt you. You're going to drop out of poly. You're probably going to go home to Hong Kong. I'm telling you. That's my prediction. Who will leave the tweets? Think about it. Okay? If I... If I still don't let go of the past then? Then it's up to the other judge, that's one. But... Especially if you went to court with this. I think your problems will get worse. Uh. They're not going to get I better. don't think so. Well, I leave it to you. I've already given you my advice. I can only do my best. If you insist on messing it up, carry on. I'll mess it up. Okay. You got it, huh? Okay. Got it. Wait long, long. Uh. I won't drop the case. Wait long, long. Come on, wait for the date. Eh? Yeah? Maybe a two-week date.
I want to ask the question, how come Josh can be, cannot be sued? Ah? The law says that the law provides us with that immunity. But I can sue him for not giving me probation, right? You want to sue the whole world, like, basically. <laughs> can you, how can you ever be a police woman or anything? I won't be a police woman. Of being objective. I won't be a police woman. <laughs> you are the police officer, so I mean, you. You know what I mean? How can you ever be a police woman? Can't think straight. Angry with the whole world. Think the whole world is against you. I think no. Everybody has his own problems. You know, no kind of thing about yours. I'm telling you. It's a fact. Understand? It's a fact. Of course, the world could be a better place. In the sense that we could care more for each other and worry more for each other. The world will be a better thing, but if you think that everybody is thinking about you, talking about you behind your back, then you're wrong. Because why? Faith. Most of us are too busy to do that. I think it's a fact. You know? Yeah. You know why they put a police officer here now? So that nobody can threaten me with a fist or threaten to punch me or anything. And you're threatening me to do that, you see? I will request something that I will drop. Can I request them to write a letter of apology that I will drop? You see me? What's apologizing to you just now? I won't accept verbal apology. You're just a young girl. It's not important. You want an apology in the newspaper for which people can pay a thousand dollars. And does it make sense? When people read about an apology, right? Yeah, well, what is this all about? Then we're going to start talking again. So the best way of doing it is that I told her to talk to you, handle this sensitively. Even though you said so many bad things about her, right? She's still taking nicely you know, on her side. And she said basically the same thing that I said. That is, don't make it worse. They're making things worse. Hmm? You're helping them, eh? I'm not helping them. I'm trying to help you. I'm trying to help you, seriously. I'm very concerned if this thing goes further, right? You're going to mess up your life. But it's up to you. Where do you live now? Bully Badok. No, we probably is Woodlands. Woodlands, yeah. Oh, it's not nearby, huh? Too long. Hmm. Yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah, are they outside? I don't know. Are the two of them outside? I don't know. Both verbal and letter apologies that I accept. Say bye bye. No, I just never mind. Don't, 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 don't. Not the... They are not... 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 No, ma. No, ma. Okay, sir.
no 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 you get the date two weeks and go two weeks or one week two weeks or one week or they won't tell them now the the you send them a letter sorry to keep you waiting actually no you can go back now okay okay I'll be back to you to come back thanks a lot